When a bird hits a window, the first instinct for most of us is to help. But what is the right thing to do? Let's find out. Window collisions are sadly very common. Up to 1 billion birds die every year from hitting a window in the United States. Birdseed windows usually because they see a reflection of sky or vegetation in the window. And in a way these reflections are worse than invisible to them because the pictures they see are inviting. So what to do if it happens to you? Oh, let's go outside. First, examine the bird from a distance. Look for external injuries. Do the wings look right? Hanging in the right places? Do the eyes look normal? Is it perching, sitting upright without help? If yes, you can just leave the bird alone. It probably just needs a little moment to rest before it can recover. If the bird has noticeable injuries, you should contact a local wildlife rehabilitator immediately. For birds, broken bones need immediate attention to heal properly. I've added some links below for finding your local rehabilitator services. If you can't find one with the links below, you can contact your local fish and wildlife service, or animal control, humane society, or a vet. These individuals will often be able to give you the contact to your local wildlife rehabilitation facilities. If you can't see injury, but the bird isn't moving, you can help it feel safe by putting it in a safe place so it can calm down. Take a towel and extremely gently pick up the bird. Place the bird in a dark container, such as a cardboard box. Make sure the box has some air holes. The dark and quiet will help calm the bird down. If it's cold outside, you may take the box inside, but do not try to give it food or water, and do not touch the bird. After 15 minutes, you can check on the bird. Make sure to only open the box outside. If the bird flies out, that's it, you're done. If not, close the box, wait another 15 minutes and try again. If the bird doesn't recover in two hours, contact a wildlife rehabilitator. Remember, handling or keeping a wild bird without the permit is illegal in many countries, and helping an injured bird requires training. The best thing for the bird's survival is to not touch it and to contact a professional. If you get bird window collisions happening repeatedly, it's worth considering trying to prevent them. Remember, birds fly the windows because they see a reflection or a passage through a building. Nocturnal migratory birds can also be attracted by the lights inside a building. Here are my tips for helping to reduce window collisions. The first strategy is closing curtains or shutters. If your windows have shutters or awnings, keep them closed during the day. Closed curtains may also help. In the evening, when it's dark outside, close the curtains so birds can't see the light from inside. The second strategy is blocking open passages. If you have multiple windows in the same space, keep one of them with curtains closed or close a door in between during the day. Make sure you can't see a passage through both of them, so birds won't try to fly through your room. The third strategy is covering the outside. Now, really the only foolproof way to prevent window collisions is to make the window look like you can't fly through for the birds. You can use blue tape or masking tape to make a grid. You can also use water-soluble paint or soapy water to draw lines. Vertical lines need to be 4 inches apart and horizontal lines need to be 2 inches apart. Otherwise, birds will think that you can fly in between them. Another way is to put finishing nails on the top of the window, four inches apart and tie paracord on it so it hangs down. These are sometimes called bird savers. They sway gently in the wind and they don't really block any light from going inside, 
so it is a very non-invasive way to help birds. Lastly, there are commercial products. Now, there are a lot of commercial products available for bird window collisions, but you gotta be careful and do your research and make sure that they actually cover the entire window, otherwise they won't be effective. Again, remember, it's two inches apart and four inches apart. A couple stickers on the glass will not help. Similarly, predator statues or stickers such as owls or falcons do not help unless they cover the entire window. I hope these tips came helpful to you. We all have our responsibility to help keep our little winged friends safe. Thank you for watching my video. Please hit like if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next one. Follow me on Twitter at Big Purple Century. You can send me any questions on birds you might have. Talk to you again soon.